on, we're going to discuss DDoS attacks. So what exactly is a DDoS or a DOS attack? Well, first of all, it stands for Distributed Denial of Service. And a DOS attack focuses on disrupting the service to a network, as the name suggests. Attackers send high volume of data of traffic through the network until the network becomes overloaded and can no longer function. So there are a few different ways attackers can achieve DOS attack, but the most common is the distributed denial of service attack. This involves the attacker using multiple computers to send the traffic or data that will overload the system. In many instances, a person may not even realize that his or her computer has been hijacked and is contributing to the DOS attack. Now, disrupting services can have serious consequences relating to security and online access. Many instances of large-scale DOS attacks have been implemented as a single sign of protest towards governments or individuals and have led to severe punishment, including major jail time. So, how can you prevent DOS attacks against yourself? Well, firstly, unless your company is huge, it's rare that you would be even targeted by an outside group or attackers for a DOS attack. Your site or network could still fall victim to one, However, if another organization on your network is targeted. Now, the best way to prevent an additional breach is to keep your system as secure as possible with regular software updates, online security monitoring, and monitoring of your data flow to identify any unusual or threatening spikes in traffic before they become a problem. DOS attacks can also be perpetrated by simply cutting a table or dislodging a plug that connects your website server to the internet. So due diligence in physically monitoring your connections is recommended as well.